Yeah, Josh Norman, you know, I guess Ian Rappaport was the first to kind of report that beyond the, the fractured rib, there might have been a lung injury. So as soon as I heard that, I went, well, that can't be true because Ian Rappaport reported it. <laughs> he's, he's always Joe wrong. Ring. When was the last time he was right? Yeah, he's always wrong. Um, but they're saying that he appears to have some uh, lung injury there. And they think, though, that he still may be able to return in two to four weeks, which makes it really hard to believe. If, the, if, he, if he legitimately has a rib injury and a lung issue, how's he going to be able to come back? He said it's the first time it's ever happened to him where he couldn't get back out there. Uh, he wanted to get back out on the field, but uh, he says, do I go out there and help the team or am I going to hurt the team if I can't really run and I can't breathe? Yeah. Those are two pretty important components of playing football last time I checked. So He said, though, he considered going back out on the field during this pass game just to be a decoy, meaning if he was on the field, the team would shy away from passing his way. That's you got to weigh that. But the problem is if they do throw it his way, he has to make a tackle. Right. He's probably going to struggle. He's clearly limited. Right. Uh, of course, missed some plays and got nervous when he walked off the field. Uh, during the, but he returned in the fourth quarter. He apparently had an MRI on his knee, on his right knee cakes, and uh, it came out fine. So we don't have to worry about Trent. Well, you definitely would worry if it came out negative. Right. Saw Tara there. That'd be bad news for the O-line. Yep. You know, a lot of people are going through. Look, that game on Monday night was very winnable. We all yep. know that, right? A lot of mistakes. I think a lot of people are starting to come around to old EB side of the fence here when I tweeted immediately as it occurred that that was a stupid timeout by Dre, Jay Gruden. Mm -hmm. But if you had to pick one mistake that was most costly to them, and there are a lot to choose from, mm. um, I the think the, the the Well, you could pick a penalty. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Breland hands at the face, the Preston Smith lining up uh, in the neutral zone, uh, the missed, the, the, the botched pitch by Chris Thompson. Um, there are a lot of mistakes. What, which one jumps out at you the most? Out of the penalties or just all of them? All of the mistakes. The Gruden timeout, well, which I think was uh, a disaster. It's not really a mistake, but the docks and drop. The docks and drop. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to call that a mistake. I think you amass all of the defensive penalties, and they just add it up. Pick one, though. I'm asking you to pick one thing, one play. Because and, it, and I say that because if docks and catches that ball, they win the game. Correct. I'm pretty. I'm 99% sure true, they win but, the game. But I the agree with you. You can't call it a mistake. You can't really call it a mistake. He went out there and made the catch. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the, the Gruden, ground cost Maybe it. the Gruden timeout. The Gruden timeout was devastating because it you know that should go into overtime. Right. That game should be going into overtime. You kick the field goal. They have 20 seconds left. They can't really go anywhere. And you go into overtime. And then, you know, may lose. But There's a lot of big things that happen. Losing Josh Norman changes the way that you play defense. Yeah, but the mistake. I'm talking about mistakes. I agree with Jason. It's Josh Doxon. But is that a not, mistake? It's no, not a mistake. No. I think actually we saw his athleticism. And I think it's something that happens all the time. You see balls squirt out when guys hit the ground all the time. The it, catch it, rules in the NFL are wacky. When I did Redskins overtime on NBC Sports Washington, Santana Moss said 10 years ago that's a catch. Yeah. Well, it is crazy. Mm -hmm. I think Danny pointed out that, like, it, if, the, if the football crosses the plane, you know, by one nanometer, mm -hmm. per, uh, and you it's lose over it. a touchdown. And you yeah. lose it, right? Even if you fumble. Right. It's just so, it doesn't matter. Touchdown. Right. But if you catch it and you have it for two seconds, and you bring and it then to the ground, fall down, and then finally the ground causes it to squirt out, it's not. Nobody right. knows what a catch is anymore. It's too confusing. If it's a running back and he gets just tackled. the nose of it over <laughs> by, a, and, and he gets tripped up by a finger, and he's falling to the ground, but the ball hits first and squirts out. Touchdown. No, he, he, or, he, or his knee touches. He's down by contact. But it might look like a fumble. But also, so Doxon's obviously wasn't a catch, but if a running back is running and he falls to the ground, you know, gets touched, and, you know, the, the ground causes that. Right. No fumble. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah. But I mean, it's just a double to, standard. Just, just to compare the two. Yeah, yeah. I know. No, it's, it's completely it's, annoying. It's, it's, it's almost the same play. Yep. Right? What if he makes the same? The catch rule is annoying. What if he makes the same catch? Catch, non-catch, right in front of the thing. But, uh, like, on the way down, he crosses it over the line. Touchdown. But then he falls to the ground and drops it like he did. No, because I think for the catch, he has to complete the Still have the to act. complete the catch. Yes. Yeah. It's so bizarre. Because the Sterling Shepard one, 
in week three where Sterling Shepard catches a pass from Eli Manning, not only puts two feet down, but he touches a third foot down, and then when he falls out of bounds in the end zone, he drops it. It was a no catch. It was like, I mean, Jesus Christ, what if he ran all the way across the end zone and fell down? The rule should be if you have the ball, if you have controlled the ball and both of your feet hit the ground, no matter what happens after that. You don't you, believe that you should complete the catch? You should. It should be a catch. I, I'll, I will say this. I, I interpret it as not a catch immediately. So maybe I've just been programmed right. by the league. But when I saw it, I immediately said, not a catch. Zip and catch. And I, I agreed. I, I, I bought into this notion that you have to complete the catch. Well, that's the rule. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm buying into the hype. <laughs>